Al Ibrahim, welcome to the quantity survey course. In this lecture, we will discuss how to calculate the cutting length and weight of triangular stirrups in quantity survey course 2020. As we know that in our last lectures, we discussed the BBS of column B. First, we calculate the cutting length of the diamond stirrups in one of our lecture also. So this topic was left of the stirrups so how to calculate the triangular stirrups cutting length and their weight so the in this lecture i will explain the cutting length and weight of triangular stirrups calculation method so let's we start our topic today and here i want to add one more thing that in our next lecture we will discuss the slab calculation of the cutting length and their weights slab steel bars one way slab and two way slab we will discuss it in very detail in next lecture so follow up these lectures and practice by yourself also so let's we start our today tech lecture calculate the cutting length and the weight of triangular stirrups given data we have for column having the section of 400 by 400 millimeter and clear cover provided 40 millimeter from all the side from both sides and top and from the bottom stirrup bar diameter is 40 millimeter cutting length of the stirrup we have to calculate and the weight of the stirrup triangular stirrups so here i want to show you the section of the column in the section of wall column you see these six vertical bars and these square stirrups also and their hook but here in today lecture we will just discuss this triangular stirrups this going from here to here then bending one with 135 degree here then bending 135 degree here i want to explain you more thing here that this is dotted line is the perpendicular length this is imaginary line we made to calculate this hypotenuse value and this hypotenuse value and this hypotenuse value are the same so that's why we just calculate one hypotenuse value and to cal then in the cutting length formula we will add other and we find this base length first and this perpendicular length first then using Pythagoras theorem we will calculate the hypotenuse value also we are using 10 millimeter stirrups so let's and our column section is 400 by 400 millimeter clear cover from all side is 40 millimeter so let's we start our topic now we have here one more thing I want to explain you that we have four 135 degree bend in this triangular stirrup you can see this is 135 degree bend making one and this is other 135 degree bend so it's two and here this triangular stirrup is going then bending here hook this hook making 135 degree bend and this hook making 135 degree bend so one two three and four we have four 135 degree bend in triangular stirrup so let's we solve our example for the calculation of triangular stirrup is to be done in two steps in the first step we will calculate the hypotenuse length of the right angle by using Pythagoras theorem in the second step we put the these values into our given problem so first we find the perpendicular imaginary length of the stirrup we know that our depth of the column section is 400 millimeter so 400 millimeter minus 2 clear cover from both the top and bottom minus 2 into half diameter of bar because we will calculate the stirrups length from center to center that's why here we just multiply it with the 2 into half diameter of bar so here we have 400 millimeter minus 2 into clear cover 40 millimeter we have 40 millimeter clear cover 
and minus 2 into dia of bar we have 10 millimeter dia of stirrup here dia of stirrup 10 millimeter so divide it by half we take it 5 millimeter here so let me calculate this value on the calculator it's easy we calculate here it 400 minus 80 minus 10 it will give us 300 10 millimeter value of the perpendicular imaginary length this perpendicular imaginary length showing in dotted line 310 millimeter we have then we let's go further we have to calculate the sec base length still here same formula we have for base length but here I want to say first we will calculate this total base length then we'll multi divide it by 2 to calculate this half base length this half base length because we required this first we will solve this triangle to calculate this triangular instead of we first this we assume this line imaginary line find the its length and first we will calculate this total base length then divide it by half to get this half base length then using the Pythagoras theorem we will calculate the hypotenuse value then this hypotenuse value will also be the same then finally we will able to calculate the cutting length of this triangular stirrup so here I want to show in the base length calculation we formula is same minus 2 into half tie of bar here we divided it by 2 to make the base length calculation half as I already showed you to make it half here from here to here so thus we divided it by 2 so base length stir up 400 minus 2 clear cover minus 2 half of dia bar here we put the values here then 400 minus 80 minus 10 this will give us 310 millimeter 310 millimeter it's easy calculation then divide it by 2 so 310 millimeter divided by 2 it will give us 155 millimeter these are very easy calculations so that's why I am not calculating them on the calculator so let's move further we cal just calculated the base length also total base length here we will put the value of total base length 310 millimeter but we divided it half to get to calculate hypotenuse here we have half base length 155 millimeter so let we calculate hypotenuse value by using Pythagoras theorem here base length value we have half here we will put half to calculate the hypotenuse value in the right triangles and perpendicular length imaginary length we have perpendicular length what was the perpendicular length 310 okay 310 sorry Three hundred ten. Square of three hundred ten. Let we take the calculate the hypotenuse value on the calculator. Okay, one hundred fifty five square plus three hundred ten. Three hundred ten square. Total we have one. You can see this value we have total and take the under root of this whole value so 346.59 millimeter is the value of hypotenuse let me put it in the section view of the column hypotenuse value have we have 3 346.59 9 millimeter so this value hypotenuse value will also be the same because the value this triangle making 
and this right triangle making having the same dimension so value of the hypotenuse will be same 5 so we just did we triangular we divided the triangular into two right triangle to calculate the cutting length here we have the hypotenuse value base length value and perpendicular value so now we will calculate the cutting length so cutting length formula is 2 into h h here is hypotenuse we have 2 h in one triangular stirrup so multiply plus 2 into b b is the base length we know that here we calculated the base length just divided by half to make it half that's why here again i am multiplying in the formula with the 2 to calculate total base length but you can take also here 310 so if you in case you to take total then you will not multiply with the 2 i am here taking the half base length so d is the die of steer of use in this plus hooks minus bends hook formula we have 10 d we have two hook in one triangular steer of that's why multiply with the two we have got four bends of 135 degree bends we have four that's why we multiply four with the 3d for 135 degree bend we have the formula 3d so that's why we multiply it with the four because we have four 135 degree bends so let me take you uh, in the section to show you something here in here we have one this 35 degree bend one this 35 degree bend one this hook 135 degree bend one for this hook 135 degree bend the total we have one four 135 degree bands and here we have half base length 155 millimeter but total base length 310 millimeter so in the formula we divided we multiply with, uh, with the 2b we multiply the 2 with the b that b value is half 155 millimeter so these are the one hypotenuse this is other hypotenuse value so finally let we calculate the cutting length so let me put the values in this hypotenuse value we have 346.59 millimeter and 2 into b b value half b value that's why we multiply here 2 otherwise you can put here total value then no need to multiply with the 2 so b value we have 155 millimeter half b value base length then 2 into 10 d d is the dia dia this is the hook length formula and we have two hook that's why multiply 2 here i want to show you that d dia of stirrup is 10 millimeter so put d here again put d 10 millimeter so let me solve this in on the calculator now 2 into 346.59 sorry 59 693.18 693.18 next here you can see 2 into 155 that's 310 total base length 310 millimeter plus hook 2 we have two hooks and the 10 d formula 10 into 10 100 into 2 200 so we have hook length 200 millimeter two hook length and minus deductions of 1 35 degree bands four 135 degree bands 10 into 3 30 30 into 4 120 120 millimeter let me calculate it on the calculator now 
plus 310 plus 200 equal to minus 120 1083.18 that we take it 1084 millimeter 1084 millimeter is the cutting length of one triangular stirrup to calculate in meter we divide it by 1000 it, this will give us 1.084 1.084 Eight four meter is the cutting length required for one triangular stirrup. So let we calculate the weight of this one stirrup. So here is the formula. We know that the dia of the stirrup is ten. We put here dia of ten millimeter, and the length we put it in the meter here. Remember, we we'll put in this formula length we we'll put in meter, but Dia in millimeter 84. Let me calculate it on the calculator now. 10 scale 100 divided by 162. Then multiply with the total length of one stirrup, one triangular stirrup 1.084. So total 0 0.67 we take it 0. 0. 0.67 kg is the weight of one triangular stirrup so this is how we calculate the cutting length of triangular stirrup and their weight thanks for watching this lecture i hope this is clear please stay tuned for next